Jelly Belly Factory in Fairfield. Lucky Lori Wallace joins us live where she's showing <laughs> off some jelly bean arts. <laughs> Yes, some masterpieces, you guys. I've been hanging out with Kristen this morning, watching her put together this amazing work of art with jelly beans. And I got to thinking, this could really be fun to do at home with your kids on a super small scale, right? Something little, get them started, and, and let them experience the creativity that comes along with this. Because, Kristen, you've been doing this for a while now. When people come to the Jelly Belly Factory, they see your work. We're looking at a couple of the finished ones next to us. This takes a lot of time, though, and there, there really is an art to it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what I found out when I started doing this is that really the same skills that go into painting and seeing which colors go together and how to make different colors when the viewer stands back um, are, uh, yeah, it's something that it really took some time to develop. So one of the things that you and I were talking about is choosing the colors and what color schemes you really like to work with. Because when you look at these paintings, you use so many different colors. So what is the easiest uh, color palette to work with and what do you like to use? Well, probably the easiest, especially in this one, is the yellows and the greens because you've got the pina colada here at the very lightest end and it goes all the way to green apple and then there's watermelon which is even a darker green and you can transition very smoothly all the way through the whole range of light to dark yellows and greens. So that one's really fun because I can do real smooth blendings and make things look pretty realistic. So for our viewers that missed us earlier, how many jelly beans do you use on, on something like this and how much does this weigh when it's all said and done? Well, on a piece this size, it's between 12 and 14,000 uh, when I get it all filled up, uh, six or 700 per square feet, and there's 20 square feet. And um, what was the second question? <laughs> How much does it weigh when it's oh, all done? Oh, my gosh. It weighs about uh, 100 pounds or so once I get the sealer on. Okay, so when you're looking at this, okay, you'll be done fairly soon. Your wheels must be spinning. What are some of your next projects? What is something that you really want to do at some point? Uh, I really enjoy uh, the theme for this last year. I usually do several pieces for Jelly Belly um, every year, and a lot of times it's related to what products they have coming out. They had a whole bunch of new Harry Potter stuff, and so I got to do Dumbledore, Ron, Harry, and Hermione this year, um, and that was really fun. So it's just always fun looking forward to like what the next thing is. So cool. What a treat for people coming to visit the Jelly Belly Factory today. There you are. <laughs> just a little spin for you. Uh, getting to look at all the artwork and watching her in action. She's going to be here a while doing this. So really cool. I'll send it back to you guys. Great. This is such a setup. You uh, send yes. all these jelly bellies, mm -hmm. jelly bellies in here. Mm -hmm. And we've been snacking. Mm -hmm. Every time she pops up, we're like, oh, Every time. an excuse to eat yes. jelly belly. <laughs> I bet you that lady is really good at puzzles. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. You know, she's putting all those beans together, make it look Definitely. so good. And she's very calm. <laughs> very patient. Because <laughs> there's no way I couldn't do it. Mm -mm. My brain would be like, ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> good stuff. All right.